one of the things that we always look for and i finally found it after seven years was the lego washed out of the, have you heard of the lego that was what um they lost container ships uh shipping containers off a ship um off the cornish coast i think it was 1996 or 97 and it was full of lego and all the lego was sea related so there was like sea dragons seaweed pirates like everything and it was all washing up on cornish beaches and then it started washing up on freshwater west and there was one lady that used to beach comb all the time and she found loads of it and like we used to go down we that's one of our main beaches that we clean it's really sad at the moment so we can't go down there but it's one of the ones that gives the most good stuff back and then i had a boy that found on one of our beach cleans he found a lego pirate and he just didn't know anything about it. And he was like, oh, yeah, fun. And I'm like, oh, can I have it? And he was like, no. And I'm like, oh, can I take a photo of it then, please? And then another little boy that found, he found two broomsticks, which are like little tiny brown sticks with a little brush on the end. And Lego wants a plastic. And, and he found one, him and his mum. And they came up to show me. And then he was crying. He was only little. He was crying because he wanted to go and find more treasure. So they went back down and they found another one. And it's like, how random is that? And then someone found a flipper. And I was just like, I was so jealous because I was like, I never find anything like this. I found little toys and bits and bobs, but I hadn't found any Lego. And then I think, I can't remember, me, yeah, it would have been a couple of years ago. Um, we were down there and I found a piece of Lego seaweed. Um, so it's like green. It almost looks like a cacti sort of thing. And I've actually made a print out of that. And that's on quite a few pairs of leggings and things. And it looks more like a cacti. And so when people are like, oh, that's quite a cool print. I put it on, on little jumpers and leggings, actually. And that's a cool print because cat are quite a sort of thing, like the, the quite a cliche sort of print, aren't they? Like, yeah. like llamas and bloody unicorns and things. And I was just like, is that actually a cat though? A piece of sea Lego seaweed? And then I have to tell them about the project then. And then they're like, oh, that's really cool. And I think most people get it. And I've got, in my shop, I've got like, um, um, we find quite a lot of like, um, I can't think what they're called. They're like the big trays that are used for fishermen to use them. Um, I can't think what they're called now. Um, so I did, I got one of those. So, and then got all the bits, interesting bits of, of toys and plastic and bits that I'd use for printing and displayed them in that. So I've got that as a display in the shop. And then, written a little bit about it saying it and then it's next to the clothes that I've picked, used the prints on and so people get that then and they're like oh wow that's so cool and I've actually got people that bring me stuff and I'm like yay that's treasure yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely a project that's ongoing mm. and once I launch a new website I'm going to do like competitions where yeah. people can send me items that they've found on the beach or a photo of it and if I make it into the print into a print they can have a t-shirt with it printed on or something like that so it would be like you know they get something back for it and stuff. so it's quite yeah, it's, yeah so it's it, it definitely um inspires you to go and keep going with the beach cleaning as well but mm. what i found recently like amroth where we live we don't i don't find much treasure on amroth we don't find much rubbish which mm. is really good that's I mean, nice quite a, yeah yeah there's quite, quite a lot of we used to you know we used to fill Seven, 60, 70 bags of rubbish off there. And now you get maybe five or six. Um, there's a few like locals that clean quite often, which is great. And there's lots of people that pick up bits and stuff. So it's like, we don't find that much treasure anymore, which is a bit sad, but like, it's also good. Mm -hmm. It means that beach cleaning is working. Um, but Fresh West, um, we're, I think we're always finding stuff because a lot of stuff gets buried. Um, in the storms and stuff and then when there's big storms it unburies and you find new stuff and things like that so that's quite cool cool but not cool in a way it's a bit sad that it's there 